you have been writing essays since you were in your elementary classes. An essay is a detailed description of a person, place, thing or an occasion. You have to write more than 500 words in order to write a good essay. It is quite time consuming. Today is the age of shortcuts. Gone are the days of essays. In today's fast paced world, everyone prefers briefs. An essay in brief is called a paragraph. A paragraph written in a precise manner has more impact than a long essay. Therefore, if you understand the concept of writing a paragraph, you can write impressive paragraphs. Vidyatyo, to see apnia pelia classa de vich lake lik de aiho. Ek lake kise vyakti tha cheese ja kise moke de bare vich vistar sahit jan kari hundi hai. To hano ek changa lake likhan de lay punj soto vad shabad likhan lay ke ha janda hai. Es vich bohot sara sama lagda hai. Ajda zamana shortcuts. Yani ki jaldi jaldi gal kehan da hai. Hun o din gai jado vadde vadde lake likhan nu tarji ditti jandi si. Aj kal de zamane vich tezi naal kadam rakh di dunia de vich har koi sankhep vich durvi gal kehni chaun da hai. Ek lake nu sankhep vich ek pere vich vi likhya ja sak da hai. Es nu paragraph kiha janda hai. एक प्रभावशाली तरीके नाल लिखिया पैराग्राफ एक लंबे लेख नालों ज्यादा प्रभाव पाउंदा है इस करके जे तुसी पैराग्राफ लिखण दी तकनीक समझ लवो ता तुसी एक प्रभावशाली पैराग्राफ लिख सकदे हो आओ पहला ए देखिए कि लिखण तो पहला असी की करना है बिफोर राइटिंग before writing a paragraph, it is important to specify the topic you are intending to tackle. So first of all, select the topic. Try to draw a picture about it in your mind. Recall anything you have ever read or heard about the topic. Take a sheet of paper and just start writing small and simple sentences related to the topic that have tight connection with your topic. Ik safed paper lo. Ate us upper sirf vishe nal sambandit chote ate asan vak likna shuru karo. जिन्ना दा संबंध बहुत ही गुड़े तरीके नाल तो हाडे विषय नाल होवे। In this stage, mistakes and word order are to be overlooked momentarily. After you gathered the data necessary for your topic, the next step is to be taken. अपने विषय बारे लोडिंदे अंकड़ियाँ नू इकट्ठा करन तो बाद तुसी अग्गे वधना है। Children, after gathering sufficient material about the paragraph, you come in the next stage that is called while writing. In this stage, you will have to arrange the material you have written earlier. For that, you should know the parts of a paragraph. Vidyarthiyo, ek paragraph bare durvi samagri ikatthi karan to baad, tusi agli stage vich dakhil hona hai, jis nu while writing keha janda hai. E stage vich aake, tusi aapni pehla likhi samagri nu ek sahi tarike de naal tay karna hai. Par pehla, तुआनु पैराग्राफ दे हिस्सियां दे बारे विच पता होना चाहिदा है। 
ਪੈਰਾਗ੍ਰਾਫ ਨੂੰ ਇਸ ਤਰੀਕੇ ਦੇ ਨਾਲ ਹਿੱਸਿਆਂ ਵਿੱਚ ਵੰਡਿਆ ਜਾ ਸਕਦਾ ਹੈ ਪਾਰਟਸ ਆਫ ਅ ਪੈਰਾਗ੍ਰਾਫ ਟੌਪਿਕ ਸੈਂਟੈਂਸ ਦ ਟੌਪਿਕ ਸੈਂਟੈਂਸ ਇਜ਼ ਅ ਸਟੇਟਮੈਂਟ ਦੈਟ ਜਨਰਲੀ ਇੰਟਰੋਡਿਊਸਸ ਦ ਟੌਪਿਕ ਐਂਡ ਥਸ ਇਟ ਇਜ਼ ਆਫਨ ਰੈਫਰਡ ਟੂ ਐਸ ਦ ਓਪਨਿੰਗ ਸੈਂਟੈਂਸ children always keep in mind that the readers will greatly rely on what it says so as they can decide if the paragraph is worth reading or not it gives them a broad view of what you are writing about because the topic sentence is meant to state the main idea of the paragraph readers save time as it tells them what the rest of the paragraph is all about if they are interested in the topic they will continue reading a topic sentence gives them guiding clues that help them be selective in their reading this is the most important for the students because their checker would intelligently be dragged into liking and enjoying reading the paragraph because this topic sentence controls the entire paragraph it helps the student focus on the main idea and not drift away from it vidyarthiyo hamesha eh gal dimag vich rakho ki pathak jo keha gaya hai us te pura bharosa karange ate ohi faisla karange ki eh para ਕਿਸੇ ਕੰਮ ਦਾ ਹੈ ਵੀ ਜਾਂ ਨਹੀਂ ਇਹ ਜੋ ਕੁਝ ਤੁਸੀਂ ਲਿਖਿਆ ਹੈ ਉਸ ਦੀ ਉਹਨਾਂ ਨੂੰ ਵਿਆਪਕ ਜਾਣਕਾਰੀ ਦਿੰਦਾ ਹੈ ਕਿਉਂਕਿ ਮੁੱਖ ਵਾਕ ਪੈਰੇ ਦਾ ਮੁੱਖ ਵਿਚਾਰ ਕਰਨ ਲਈ ਵਰਤਿਆ ਜਾਂਦਾ ਹੈ ਪਾਠਕਾਂ ਦਾ ਇਸ ਨਾਲ ਸਮਾਂ ਵੀ ਬਚਦਾ ਹੈ ਕਿਉਂਕਿ ਉਹਨਾਂ ਨੂੰ ਪਤਾ ਚੱਲ ਜਾਂਦਾ ਹੈ ਕਿ ਬਾਕੀ ਦਾ ਪੈਰਾਗ੍ਰਾਫ ਕਿਸ ਚੀਜ਼ ਦੇ ਬਾਰੇ ਵਿੱਚ ਹੈ ਜੇ ਉਹ ਵਿਸ਼ੇ ਵਿੱਚ ਦਿਲਚਸਪੀ ਰੱਖਦੇ ਹੋਣ ਤਾਂ ਉਹ ਲਗਾਤਾਰ ਉਸ ਨੂੰ ਪੜ੍ਹਦੇ ਰਹਿਣਗੇ ਵਿਸ਼ੇ ਦਾ ਮੁੱਖ ਵਾਕ ਉਹਨਾਂ ਨੂੰ ਦਿਸ਼ਾ ਨਿਰਦੇਸ਼ ਦੇ ਦਿੰਦਾ ਹੈ ਜੋ ਉਹਨਾਂ ਦੇ ਲਿਖੇ ਦੀ ਚੋਣ ਵਿੱਚ ਸਹਾਇਤਾ ਕਰਦਾ ਹੈ ਵਿਦਿਆਰਥੀਆਂ ਨੂੰ ਇਸ ਗੱਲ ਦਾ ਖਾਸ ਖਿਆਲ ਰੱਖਣਾ ਚਾਹੀਦਾ ਹੈ ਕਿਉਂਕਿ ਉਹਨਾਂ ਦਾ ਚੈਕਰ ਉਹਨਾਂ ਦੀਆਂ ਦਿਲਚਸਪੀਆਂ 'ਚ ਲਿਪਤ ਹੋ ਜਾਵੇਗਾ ਅਤੇ ਪੈਰਾਗ੍ਰਾਫ ਨੂੰ ਪੜਨ ਦਾ ਲੁਤਫ ਲਵੇਗਾ ਕਿਉਂਕਿ ਇਹ ਮੁੱਖ ਵਾਕ ਹੀ ਸਮੁੱਚੇ ਪੈਰੇ ਨੂੰ ਕੰਟਰੋਲ ਕਰਦਾ ਹੈ ਇਹ ਵਿਦਿਆਰਥੀਆਂ ਨੂੰ ਮੁੱਖ ਵਿਚਾਰ ਤੇ ਧਿਆਨ ਕੇਂਦਰਿਤ ਕਰਨ ਵਿੱਚ ਵੀ ਮਦਦ ਕਰਦਾ ਹੈ ਅਤੇ ਇਸ ਤੋਂ ਧਿਆਨ ਪਾਸੇ ਨਹੀਂ ਹਟਾਉਂਦਾ ਹੀਅ ਆਰ ਸਮ ਟਿਪਸ ਟੌਪਿਕ ਸੈਂਟੈਂਸ ਚੂਜ਼ ਅ ਟੌਪਿਕ ਸੈਂਟੈਂਸ ਫॉर ਯੋਰ ਪੈਰਾਗ੍ਰਾਫ ਦੈਟ ਸਟੇਟਸ the main idea of your topic topic sentence should be a sort of clincher that is a tempting statement that catches the readers attention after writing an attractive topic statement you will write a few sentences in support of your topic sentence ਇੱਕ ਦਿਲ ਖਿੱਚਵਾਂ ਮੁੱਖ ਵਿਸ਼ੇ ਨਾਲ ਸੰਬੰਧਿਤ ਕਥਨ ਲਿਖਣ ਤੋਂ ਬਾਅਦ ਤੁਸੀਂ ਕੁਝ ਵਾਕ ਆਪਣੇ ਮੁੱਖ ਵਿਸ਼ੇ ਨਾਲ ਸੰਬੰਧਿਤ ਕਥਨ ਦੀ ਵਿਆਖਿਆ ਲਈ ਵੀ ਲਿਖੋਗੇ ਸਪੋਰਟਿੰਗ ਡਿਟੇਲਸ ਥੀਸ ਆਰ ਸੈਂਟੈਂਸਸ ਥੈਟ ਸਪੋਰਟ ਦ ਟੌਪਿਕ ਸੈਂਟੈਂਸ ਦੇ ਗਿਵ ਇਨਫੋਰਮੇਸ਼ਨ ਇਨ ਡਿਟੇਲ about the main idea stated in the topic sentence there should be at least 3 supporting details because one or two make the paragraph less convincing and not worth the effort done to build it thus the students are strongly advised to provide at least three strong details which can support the main idea the students 
can use all the writing techniques necessary to make the paragraph sustainable and eligible. Descriptions, definitions, examples, elaboration and exploration. If any of the supporting details doesn't correlate with the main idea or does not support it, it will break the unity of the paragraph. A o vaak han jede ki visha vaak di vyaakhya kar de han. A visha vaak vich dite mukh vichar bare vishthar vich jankare din de han. Kato kat tin vaak sahayak verve lai hone chai de han. Kyunki ek jaan do vaak pere nu prabhav shali nahi badaan de. Ate is nu tukma badaan lai kitiyan koshichan ch कोई योगदान नहीं पाते इस करके विद्यार्थियों सलाह दी जाती है कि घट्टो घट तीन वजिया विस्तार दौ जेड़े कि मुख विचार की व्याख्या करे विद्यार्थी पैराग्राफ न एक स्थाई और ढुरव बनाने सारिया जरूरी तकनीक की वरतों कर सकते हैं जिमें कि व्याखण परिभाषा उदाहरण विस्थार, खोज पड़ताल आदि जे कोई भी सहायक वेरवा मुख विचार नाल मेल ना खावे जा सहायक साबित ना होवे ता ए पैराग्राफ दी एकता नु भंग करेगा कंक्लूडिंग सेंटेंस दिस इज द लास्ट सेंटेंस ऑफ योर पैराग्राफ एंड इट शुड रिफ्लेक्ट what you have talked about in your paragraph and it should echo the topic sentence in a way or another e tohade paragraph da aakhri vaak hai ate e us vishay bare channa paunda hai jis bare tusi apne paragraph de vich gal baat kiti hai ate एक किसे नाल किसे तरीके नाल तोहाडे पैराग्राफ दा सार जा निचोड़ दसदा है आफ्टर राइटिंग रिव्यूइंग दिस फाइनल स्टेप कैन बी कॉल्ड द एडिटिंग स्टेप दिस इज अ वेरी क्रूशियल स्टेज ऑफ योर वर्क प्रोसेस एज यू शुड रिव्यू व्हाट यू हैव डन and make sure the paragraph is eligible technically speaking aakhri kadam nu kaant chaant karna keha ja sakda hai eh tohade kam karan da bada hi aham padav hai kyunki is de vich tusi sari gal da jaiza lena hai jo tusi likhya hai ate eh gal yakini banauni hai ki eh puri tarah layak ate takniki taur te bolan vich sahi hai among the other things the following points should be checked coherence and cohesion of the content the stability of the form the linking words grammar spelling and punctuation clear handwriting apart from these essentials other factors are to be molded over number 1 your main idea should be expressed in the topic sentence in a full clear declarative sentence ਤੁਹਾਡਾ ਮੁੱਖ ਵਿਚਾਰ ਵਿਸ਼ਾ ਵਾਕ ਦੇ ਰੂਪ ਵਿੱਚ ਪੂਰੀ ਤਰ੍ਹਾਂ ਸਪਸ਼ਟ ਹੋਣਾ ਚਾਹੀਦਾ ਹੈ। ਸੈਕੰਡ ਯੋਰ ਟੌਪਿਕ ਸੈਂਟੈਂਸ ਸ਼ੁੱਡ ਇਨ ਨੋ ਵੇ ਬੀ ਅ ਪਰਪਸ ਸਟੇਟਮੈਂਟ। ਤੁਹਾਡਾ ਵਿਸ਼ਾ ਵਾਕ ਕਦੇ ਵੀ ਇੱਕ ਉਦੇਸ਼ ਵਾਲਾ ਬਿਆਨ ਨਹੀਂ ਲੱਗਣਾ ਚਾਹੀਦਾ। ਜਿਵੇਂ the purpose of this paragraph is 
I will prove in this paragraph. In this paragraph, I will tell. Third, don't repeat yourself now and then, thinking that you are reinforcing your point. तुहाडे विचारा दा कदे भी दोहराओ नहीं लगना चाहिदा है कि तुसी अपनी गल नू किसे ना किसे तरीके नाल थोप रहे हो. Fourth, don't use complex or far-fetched terms that may puzzle the character. कदे भी जटिल अते खाम खा खिचन वर्गे शब्दां दी वर्तों नहीं करनी चाही दी है. Fifth point, don't use long winding sentences, keep simple. कदे वी बहुते लम्मे वाकां दा प्रयोग ना करो, उन्ना नू सदारन रखो. Sixth, instead of giving definitions, it's better to explain and give examples. परिभाशा देन दी बजाए, ए चंगा होवेगा, कि तुसी इसनू विस्थार विच दसो, अते नाल ही उधारना वी दियो. 7. Point. Your supporting details shouldn't be too excessive. तो हाड़ा सहायक वेरवा वी, बहुत ज्यादा नहीं होना चाहिदा. Eighth point, try not to be redundant or out of point. Stick to your topic. कदे वी निरर्थक जां अपने विचार तो बाहर जां दी कोशिश ना करो. अपने विशे ते बरकरार रहो. Ninth, Never introduce or present new ideas. कदे वी नवे विचारा नू दाखल ना करो. Tenth point, Irrelevant supporting details should immediately be discarded. Finally, you can transform your concluding sentence into a thought-provoking statement that the reader may find appealing. A sambandit sahayak verva turant hi hata dena chaida hai. Akhir vich, tusi apne sitta kadan wale vaknu ik vicharat pak bian vich badal sak de ho. Taki pathak nu e akarshat kare. Children, I have told you so many points which will help you to make your paragraph precise and effective. But without practice, it has no significance. Now, it is time to practice. In your examination, you will get descriptive paragraphs. You may be asked to describe a person, a place or a thing. So, first of all, we will practice on the description of people. Describing people. In this category, you can be asked to describe a person. Example, friend, a leader, a farmer, mother, father, grandmother, an ideal teacher, etc. While describing a person, you will have to write about these points about the person. Name, age, designation, qualification, daily routine or way of living, family, good habits, good deeds, importance in the society. Children, I hope now you understood how to write a paragraph. Okay, here is an exercise for you. Write a paragraph on your favorite teacher. For that, first of all, 
you think about your favorite teacher on the basis of the given points. Always remember that while describing, you should make sentences in present indefinite tense. You can make simple sentences with the use of is. While describing, use adjectives suitable to the person. Your favorite teacher. An ideal teacher is like a lighthouse. Mrs. Baljeet Kaur is my favorite teacher. She is lecturer in English. She is MA BSc B.Ed. She teaches us English and environment. Education. She is very dedicated to her profession. She is very honest and truthful. She is a good problem solver as she understands the psychology of her students and her colleagues very much. She leaves a lifelong good impact on her students. Even her old students never forget her. Under her guidance, the students have made their career. Her motivation not only polishes the good students but also shows right path to the hooligans. She is the member of many NGOs. Because of her contribution towards the society, she has become a respectable personality. Children, you have learned how to describe a person. You can also get a paragraph on a place. While describing a place, you will write small descriptive sentences about the place. But remember one thing, that before describing a place, you will have to gather the knowledge about the given points about the building. Describing places. Name of the place. Location. Who built it? Outer look. Importance. Religious, historical, hill station, coastal. Tourists. Your own opinion. With the help of these points, you can write a good paragraph about any building. You are asked to write on Taj Mahal, Red Fort, Qutub Minar, Delhi, Agra, Shimla, Goa, Mumbai, Kolkata, etc. Now let's try to write a few lines on Golden Temple. Golden Temple Golden Temple Sikh Shrine is a world famous pilgrimage. It is situated in Amritsar Sahib, Punjab. Its foundation stone was laid by Mia Mir Guru Ram Das Ji, Sikh Fourth Guru. Its construction began in the 16th century, though Sikh Fifth Guru. Shri Guru Arjan Dev Ji completed it in 1574. In 1604, Shri Guru Arjan Dev Ji completed Guru Granth Sahib, the Adi Granth. The Holy Scripture of Sikhism and 
installed it in the Gurdwara. Holy scripture of Sikhs is kept with a great honor in Shri Harmandar Sahib, meaning the abode of God. A very special building. The temple is covered with beautifully carved gold sheets. Shri Harmandar Sahib is surrounded by a sacred pond called Ramdas Sarovar. Pilgrims take bath in this Sarovar with great devotion. The Gurubani recitation echoes in the complex from dawn to dusk, which showers peace of mind. The tourists from different parts of India and the foreign countries come to visit it. The people from all the religions have faith in it. The Dipavali of the Golden Temple is very famous. Golden Temple is really a heaven on earth. Children, I hope now you have practiced enough to write about an unknown building or a city. Can you write a paragraph on Canada? Don't worry, here are some hints to help you. Canada Area 99,76,139 km Population 3 crores and 20 lakhs Capital Ottawa Currency Canadian Dollar Climate In winter, very cold Some regions, minus 65 degrees Celsius Average temperature in Ottawa ranges from minus 15 degrees Celsius to minus 6 degrees Celsius in January and 15 to 26 degrees Celsius in July. Main products Fruits Vegetables Livestock Tobacco Copper Zinc Iron Salt and Oil and natural gas. Major industries Agriculture, Forestry, Food processing, Transport, Chemicals, Oil and gas refining, and Cement. Main exports Vehicles, Machinery, Foodstuff, Natural gas. Meat, coal, and timber. Now make simple sentences using the hints. Canada Canada is the world's second largest country with very low population density as compared to the countries with smaller areas. Canada's total population density is 3.2 persons per square kilometer because of its bitter cold winter. The temperature ranges from minus 15 degrees Celsius to minus 6 degrees Celsius in January in Ottawa, its capital city, whereas it exceeds to minus 65 degrees Celsius in some regions. In summer, a wide range of agriculture is practiced in Canada. Prairies are well known for wheat. Besides, many kinds of fruits, vegetables and tobacco are grown in the country. Canada is a rich country 
with lots of minerals like copper, zinc, iron, salt, oil and natural gas. It exports vehicles, machinery, foodstuff, natural gas, meat, coal and timber etc. to the world. Canada's currency, Canadian dollar is equal to Indian 45 rupees. Children, I hope you liked the episode. You can write very good descriptive paragraphs based on the learning that you had today. See you next time. Until then, goodbye.